Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I made a video the other day using this leaf, and somebody asked me, because um, I stated in that video that uh, the leaves weren't, let me just select all this and break the blend apart, get rid of these other parts. So because this is a bigger leaf and a smaller leaf, when you do this, the smaller ones have larger spaces between them. Now there's way around that. If you uncheck link acceleration, I don't even know if you have to do that, but then you can tweak this just a little bit to the right and hit apply and it spaces them out more equally, but it's a fine line. So I thought I'd bring in, and then it's, you know, it's still a blend. So you could still blend it to a path like that. But I'd kind of like to show you in a circle Let's reset this back to even. And if you look, all the circles or the ellipses are the same, but these are the exact ellipses, except for this is smaller. So let's select both these. And with this, you can see that there's more space. It's, you know, Corel's doing the best they can. It's just, it doesn't know what to do. So if we slide this bar, I've maybe gone too far. And see, now you got more space in the back. So you kind of go, you know, there's a fine line right there. But always think about, and now you cannot do this if it's a, a, a blend. So see, this is a blend. Let's break it apart and let's redo this object. Matter of fact, let's spread these out a little bit. And let's blend these, let's say, eight times. See, there's more. Well, this is actually better because there's more. Let's go back to six. Maybe it'll show it off a little bit better. And you can see there's more space. So that's still a blend, but to get them even, and if you weren't using it for blend a path, you could go to break blend apart and then ungroup the center ones. So now these are all individual pieces. You can grab them all, go up to Windows, Docker's transformation or transform and use the um, no, we don't want to use, sorry, Windows, Dockers, Align and Distribute. And then pick this one right here that's going to put them from the center and watch them move. Now, they that might not be your what you want, so you can back up and put them from the inside edge. So now they're really spaced equally. They just don't look like it. Let's do the other edge. See, it's just different ways you can look at it. There's from the center of that object, but that that object is smaller, so it's gonna do that. Uh, so I think your best thing would be to go space them out from each other, you know, the, the distance. And if we look, if we take our parallel dimension tool, well, it's gonna be rather hard now without lines. Let's, uh, well, let's bring in indexing lines to about right there, to about right there. Bring in a couple here, a couple here, and let's just measure these. And you can almost physically see it. So now let's measure these indexing lines. Make sure I got snap to guidelines on and I don't. So that'll help me catch that when I measure it. So this is 230, 2.3 inches. And if I did it right, this is 2.37. So, but that's, that might be, well, look at it right there. It's just where I measured it from. Uh, let's see how close I am to these. And because I didn't have snap to object one. Yeah, see that one's a little bit off. So let's, let's move our indexing line and have it snap to that object. That one probably pretty close. So now we're at 226 and we're 227. So it's it's actually doing its job. Let's move this indexing line. See what it says after I move it to that edge. That one looks good. 225, 226. And it's, it's, it's just where you have that line. So it spaced them out equally but you can't blend this anymore. 
you know, these are just some objects that you uh, worked with. You know, you can do anything you went to them with them. You can't, you know, you can't blend a path where this is still a blend and you can make a circle or a line and take that blend and open this and blend the path. Whoop. Grab your blend. New path. Select your path. Blend along the full path and rotate. Now, it doesn't look good because I'm using the whole circle. Um, but if you only had half the circle, let's just do it real quick. Let's just let's make this circle. I just using the virtual segment delete key to delete this side of the circle. So that's going to be our new path. So I can grab that blend, blend it to new path. You got to be right on the line. Blend along full path and rotate. And it's it's just like happening the other day. It just happened to be backwards. Um, but you could formulate that, or you know, flip it around, or actually flip your blend around before you do it. You know, we can bring this blend over here and. Uh, let's just flip it this way. See what it does now. Blend along full path and rotate object. So now your leaves are going in the right direction. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.